all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and don't forget to download the video as soon as we finish uh, <clears throat> i don't know how many of you miss me but uh, i miss you all and uh, before we start you know i noticed that not many of you did join us in the new channel which is very disappointing look like you guys you like christian prince only fighting and screaming and uh, you know uh, nobody you want to have a nice uh, good conversation anyway for anyone who like to join us there uh, this is the new uh, channel which is for topic have nothing to do with religion neither politics and uh, this is the name you can search for it quality of life m27 and the letter m here some people think uh, wrongly it is about a gun or something this is about mark chapter 2 verse number 27 so if you like to join us in that channel I will post a link for you and feel free to subscribe and actually I'm going to do more and more broadcast there but you will see you will notice there that there we speak about everything it will help people to uh, to have a better life it doesn't matter how it is and what it is and if you like you can join us yeah, I know uh, Tamara you are subscribed, but you know many people still they did not go and You notice here how the number grows so fast, but they are uh, you know, we have like uh, 200 300 people, you know uh, <clears throat> That's because uh, people do not know maybe about it yet or maybe uh, Actually if you go and watch the videos you will enjoy them many and time better than our topic here about Islam uh, learning about Islam is just to defend yourself against this, such a cult but there we have topics will benefit you in every uh, way of life so if you like to join us feel free and this is the name of the channel again and I posted the link just subscribe and turn on your notification now <clears throat> our topic today is about blood sacrifice in Islam you see uh, Muslims they claim that they don't believe in a blood sacrifice if you go right now in Google you will find tons of articles of Muslims saying no we don't do blood sacrifice uh, to forgive for like uh, forgiveness like the Jews like who like the Jews I like it when the Muslim he say <laughs> you know uh, we don't do that we are not doing things like the Jews well everything you do is like the Jews even the story of Abraham, what do you have to do with Abraham? Now we have supposedly what the Muslim call it the Eid al Adha. But by the way, Adha is a wrong word to call it for this day because Muslims they practice Adha in Ramadan and they practice Adha in, uh, uh, in, <laughs> in, uh, in this month <clears throat> after the Hajj. So Adha is a very stupid word to use. Because what do you mean, Idul Adha? The day of Adha, the day of sacrifice. Even the day they call it the day of sacrifice. In fact, in Ramadan, they sacrifice even a lot more. So, why this day is day of sacrifice, not Ramadan? Weird religion. <clears throat> but the important for us, I just made some tea, I just get home. And uh, let us see what the Muslim they say to us. Short answer, Muslims sacrifice animal to com uh, commemorate the event that happened to the Prophet Ibrahim. <clears throat> hmm. There's an event happening with the Prophet Muhammad when he could not have a sexual relationship. Am I going to uh, do that too, practice that? I mean, what what do you mean you just do it because Abraham he did it this is what the Quran is saying or this is what you are saying does the Quran says to you do this who is a Muslim want to show me where in the Quran it says that this is the reason and Allah told us to do so do we have any Muslim let me let me turn on my Skype To give opportunities. 
So look at this uh, uh, propaganda. We Muslim, we practice this just because it happened to Abraham. Hmm. Where we can find this source of practice? Where is the Muslim? Who is the Muslim? Want to show me that this is something really we did because of Abraham and where we can find that because of Abraham you did that? Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim there, right there, is willing to do so? My Skype is open. I'm willing to hear you. And I want to see how you can tell us the story. Yeah, you can post it, no problem. Any Muslim? Anyone? They don't know. Those people, they are just pagan, and Islam is a collection of religions. <clears throat> Muhammad, he got something about Abraham. He put it in his Quran. Alexander the Great is in the Quran. The guy, his name is Al-Khadr, which is from the legions of the, the, the Persian. <clears throat> the man who never died because he drank from the fountain of youth in the Quran. Uh, uh, the flying carpet in the Quran. I mean, all, the, all Islam is a collection of other religions, which means Islam is not a religion. Islam is like a cocktail of religions. And it is the most confusing cocktail. So you taste it and you try to figure out, what is this? This is this is pagan with Christianity, with Judaism, with Zeradesh, with the Sabian, with, I mean, what is, what is there? Who is the Muslim want to tell me where this is coming from? Where is Allah? He told you that you sacrifice like Abraham. Any Muslim? You see, when you say to us that uh, we are doing this because if Abraham, well, this is supposedly a teaching of somebody. Okay, who is the one who taught you to sacrifice like Abraham? Quran even trying to copy the Bible. If you go to Isaiah chapter 1, verse 11, you will see Muhammad is trying to copy exactly what is written in Isaiah. And you know, what is this for? The meat is not reach Allah, nor will nor their blood, but what reach him bite a uh, bit from you. Thus have we subjugated them to you that you may glorify Allah. So <clears throat> you just said in the title that we don't sacrifice animals to seek forgiveness. And you gave us a verse saying that you sacrifice so you might glorify Allah. What does that mean? <laughs> Why you glorify Allah? Why you worship Allah? To get forgiveness. If you don't glorify Allah, what you will get supposed to, you will go to hell. So why you lie to people and say we don't do that for the sake of forgiveness? Let us go to the Quran and get the Abdul busted. <clears throat> we open the yellow pages book and we see this is really what the Muslim they say in their articles that sacrificing blood is not for the sake of forgiveness or it is false <clears throat> let us see Uh, who the, do we have any Muslim? Let me look in the sky before I go for the topic. Let's see the comment there. Uh, I receive uh, I received uh, links from people telling me about where to go and fix my teeth. That's wonderful. Okay, what else?
Let's see. Answering some people <laughs> and you know the funny thing is you type and then after you type for like two minutes or three you find that you are typing in Arabic mean <clears throat> All right Who is a Muslim is willing to stand, take a stand, and say, there is nowhere in Islam it says, if you sacrifice, you will be forgiven. Who agree with this article there? Who of you Muslims agree with this article? This is not the purpose of sacrificing animals in Eid al-Adha. It is not how sin are forgiven. Who is a Muslim? Agree with this. You Muslims, either you have to agree, or you say that this is a lie. Anyone? I mean, obviously, we have uh, we have Muslims in the chat, and the proof that they give us this like already. <clears throat> Hmm? Where is the Muslims? Anyone? I'm very disappointed. I mean, look, we are we are giving them a chance to prove us wrong, uh, and we are giving them all the opportunity opportunity to say, okay, you know, a Christian prince is teaching people false information. I'm going to call him right now, and I will show you that sacrificing is not for forgiveness in Islam. Anyone? That's it? What, we are stuck? Not even a single text from one person, from one Muslim? Very disappointing. Who is a Muslim want to tell us why you sacrifice today? You said, you said, you know, I will go, I will go with the propaganda of the Muslim when they say we are doing this because of Abraham. But Abraham did not sacrifice a sheep. Did he? This is your Quran, your yellow pages saying that the one who sacrifice is Allah. So you are saying we are doing what Abraham did. Abraham, he supposedly wanted to sacrifice his son. Any Muslim? Am I making things up? The funny the name of the day is sacrifice and they say we don't sacrifice you, you say you, the day name is sacrifice I think we maybe we got a Muslim let us see
Uh, I think this is the same uh, person he trolled before, but not sure. Let us see. Let's give him a chance. If he's a troll, he will be trolled for himself. If he is serious, he is welcome. Let us see. All right. Answer Abdul. Why you don't answer? So you send me a text saying you will get me busted and you don't want to. So why you are. Let me call you again one more time. Otherwise, I will block you. There we go. See? Call declined. You will get me busted. Hey, brother. I'm going to call a contemporary. I'm going to get him butted live on air. Hey brother, can you do it under air? Absolutely not. I'm going to do it live on air. Hey brother, Christian Prince is calling you. And the call declined. Hey brother, this is the trick from the dude. Don't believe him. Yeah. Where is the one who will get me busted? Yeah. True story. All right. Let us see here what happened. They say to us, they are doing what Abraham did. Abraham, he wanted to sacrifice his son. He did not sacrifice a sheep. The one who sacrificed a sheep, it was Allah. So why you are lying saying we do what Abraham did? Any Muslim? Any Muhammadan, the one who sacrifice is Allah, not Abraham. Abraham is sacrifice nothing, nothing, nothing at all, not even a drop of blood. So why you are lying? We is Allah because Allah is is big, brother. I mean, do you want Allah to say I? Man, it doesn't work. You, you have they say to you that Allah He say we because He is a, a majestic. I mean, come on, this is funny. That's that's mean Allah is a stupid. Uh, you know, if I cannot speak about myself and I am not satisfied with saying I, then that's mean I have an echo problem. I mean, you know, I like you know, I'm worshiping myself and I say we like kings, you know, the kings because they, they are so proud. This is the man, the man is so proud, arrogant. Actually, one of the name of Allah is arrogant. Al Mutakabir. But not our topic. Why you are lying saying we do what Abraham did when the one who did that is Allah? Any Muslim? And that will lead us to second question. Why Allah did that? You Muslims, you make fun of the Christian. You say your God, he sacrificed. He sacrificed what? His son. Oh, Christian, you are pagan. Your God sacrificed his son. Hmm. Your God, he sacrificed. And here what make it funny that when you say that your God is against sacrificing, we find that your God is the one who do sacrifice. And sacrifice in Islam not only for forgiveness. Sacrifice in Islam have other reasons. As an example, let us say you are the son of Adam and you are born from this man where there is no other human at that time supposedly. According to the Muslim stories that Eve used to give a birth to twin every time she gave birth, male and female. And Adam, because he's very conservative, so he was marrying his son from this twin 
to the other daughter from the other twin. I mean, see, like, see, like, there's difference. Supposedly, it's not the same. Like, <laughs> you know, like it's not the same. Like, it's not the sister. No, <laughs> it's the other twin sister. <laughs> and what happened, brother? That one of the daughters of Adam, she have a cross eyes, and then. This guy, he don't want to marry the sister twin who is from the other twin because she have a cross eyes. So Allah told him, oh, make a sacrifice. And the one who I accept his sacrifice, he can marry that girl. So the first one who came with sacrifice idea, because Muslim they say Christian are pagan, copying, sacrificing blood from other religion, blah 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 blah. And look at the liars. The first one who come with sacrificing of a blood, it was Allah. I mean, can't Allah tell Abel or Cain, okay, you marry her? Do you need to do this uh, trick? And then uh, when they make sacrifice, Allah accepted the sacrifice of the sheep and the other person he sacrifice vegetables or he offer vegetables. Why Allah he was happy with the sheep and he was not excited with vegetables. Then he Muslim can tell us. Anyone? Either you have to say that Allah is not vegetarian, or you have to say that Allah like blood sacrifice. Who is a Muslim want to tell us what is the reason behind this? Remember, you Muslims are the one who says, Oh, Islam against blood sacrifice. Anyone? I'm just going with their lies you know I'm not discussing the Bible now I'm just going with their lies they say that the Christians they are pagan Christian they create sacrifice for blood the Christians they are copying of other believe Christian 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 and the fact everything in this cult is either copy from the Jews the Christian the Persian the Sabian etc and other including the Hindus black stone the stone of Shiva the sexual stone you name it Let us go and see the interpretation. Shall we see the interpretation? Because Muslim, they might say to you, oh, he has given you a wrong interpretation. I don't like to give a wrong interpretation. So let us go and see the correct interpretation. Ibrada and Tita. So we go to chapter 5, verse number 27. Eh? The, the 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 website of the king of Jordan is working. That's weird. Nothing work in this kingdom. I mean, this guy is a bankrupt, and he called himself king. The Israeli they are the one who pay for his salary, and the assistant of the American. All right, chapter five, verse number twenty-seven. And recite, O Muhammad. And look after Muhammad, they have to say, S. It's like Mercedes Benz, like S. -S. Muhammad, S. What is that? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah, because there's no way you can say the name of Allah, Muhammad without Allah praying on him. I mean, come on, he's God. And recite to them, O Muhammad, S. To them, you people, the story, the tale of the two sons of Adam, Abel and Cain, truthfully, Bilhak, by the truth. 
And this is one of the funny things when a Muslim translate. I mean, why you are adding the bill hack? You already said it truthfully. Is semantically connected to Lulu the recite how did they offer sacrifice to God? An able kiss was a ram and keen saying some green crops. What an idiot you came. You came, you went to Walmart, you bought some carrot and brought them to Allah. The carrot is not a green. Hold on. Well, it have a green at the top. Hey, okay, and what happened, brother? And it was accepted from one of them, namely from Abel, when the fire came down from heaven and consumed his offering. Like, hold on. In the article, you say that Allah don't eat. He don't take meat to himself. Right? The Quran says that the sacrifice was eaten by Allah. Muslims, that fire which ate the sacrifice of Abel. What is that? Who is a Muslim can explain to us what is that fire? Hmm? Who is a Muslim want to tell us? Oh, what they knew that they are, I'm a Muslim. Okay, what does that mean? I'm a Muslim. Can you answer this question? I'm a Muslim. But anything about answering what why he's a Muslim, you do not know. I'm a Muslim. That fire which came and ate the ram, is that Allah? Anyone? Shall we ask Zachar Naik? Hey, brother editor, Christian print asking about the fire, and the fire is very normal. Everybody do barbecue, and Allah have his own barbecue. So they offer him some grocery, and the other person he offer him a nice delicious steak. And it's obvious Allah will like steak, so he sent fire to make barbecue for the steak. Thank you, sister, for asking the question. Next, please. What is this? What is this? Allah consumed the fire, uh, consumed the meat by the fire. What is that fire? And why he did that? The guy, he gave him a living ram. He sacrificed it, maybe. Uh, he, he shed the blood. We Muslim, we don't believe in sacrificing blood. For Allah to accept our for because you see what is the purpose here? Allah is upset from one and Allah is not upset from the other one or Allah Will make the decision based in your sacrifice who he accept him to be forgiven to take Who is the one who won the girl who have no cross eyes with my respect to all people who have such an uh, 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 you know cross eyes I mean the story is really funny I mean the guys are fighting over a girl she have a they don't want to marry a girl she have a cross eyes <laughs> any Abdul again guys don't forget to subscribe to our new channel which we speaking about many other topics beside which is not have nothing to do with religion so if you like to join us uh, this is the this is the channel all right you can search for it and we have already a few videos there posted and we are going actually I'm going to go live there more because to be honest with you I'm sick of this stupid cult and I need to take a break from this garbage all right there we speak and we are happy and you know we have a nice conversation uh this this uh, this topic is uh is not a good topic 
now so subscribe please and uh, uh, soon I might leave abroad uh, to do some maintenance you know you get older your teeth start coming out one by one <laughs> like soon brother and sister I will say to you <laughs> like officially without changing the voice I will lose my teeth and I will have like the, the, the same exactly what happened to Muhammad he lost the four teeth in the front hmm now who wanna call us why Allah is offering sacrifice and why Allah he come with this method of sacrificing blood I thought sacrificing blood is not for forgiveness is not for acceptance is not for anything have nothing to do with Allah being happy with you if you sacrifice for him so why Allah is asking you to sacrifice This is the first man and his children. That's mean you Muslims believe that since the beginning of the, the history of mankind, the first action Allah He asked His creatures to do is to shed the blood for Him. And this is how He can approve or disapprove. Elijah you want me to come Austria it's very expensive my friend last time I went to Austria I think the hamburger was what I think it was nine dollars hey, my friend here come to come to USA I will show you the hamburger here Austria is very expensive any Muslim not only that Allah he told people not to accept because look what happened Allah now he made a new teaching that if you want to show that you are a person who is accepted by Allah you make a blood offering correct guys this is what this is mean so now after Adam if me I want myself if, okay let us say I'm going to do this uh, project but I'm not sure if this project is accepted by Allah or not. So what I will do, I will sacrifice a sheep and I put it there and I wait for Allah to send his fire. And good luck with that. Hmm? Anyone? That's it. Allah, he started a method that if you want to see if you are approved by God or not, from now on, you have to do sacrifice. And this is not for a prophet. This is the children's. I mean, Muslim, they consider Adam as a, as a prophet, which is ridiculous. I mean, Adam is a prophet for who? The guy, he have just two kids. Anyone? Nobody? Hmm. Very disappointing. I thought Muslims would be fighting over to answer us and get us busted. Anyone? Not only that, even Muhammad, when he have a problem with his private part, as some believe, and even if this is not the case, Allah told him, you have to sacrifice. Glorify your God. Okay. Why? Hmm? What happened? Because Muhammad he gave, he was given by Allah al kawthar Okay. 
So what does that mean? Why you have to slaughter an animal? Anyone? <clears throat> nobody we go back to zero when Allah he sacrifice an animal Allah sacrifice to who you see you Muslims you say Christians you believe that the father he sacrificed the son and you say <laughs> if if the father is God well can't he forgive without this why God need to sacrifice this is what the Muslim they say to us well God in Christianity he do not need to and the sacrifice which we speak about that Jesus he sacrificed himself it was willingly Jesus let, said, let your will be done. So, and he said, nobody can take myself. I bought myself. I lay down myself. Nobody can take me. And he said, you destroy this temple in three days. Uh, three days in uh, uh, this temple and the three days I will build it. So obviously the sacrifice which you Muslims speak about is about showing how powerful God is, how loving He is, and it's not because He need to or He have to. No, He don't have to. It's like saying, why God, He he have to love me? He don't have to love you, but He loves you, for He is loving God. Why God, He need to see save me? He do not need to save you. He love to save you. And here now I ask you, why Allah he sacrifice a ram and not only it's a ram the Quran says be the azim which mean a majestic sacrifice what make it majestic great sacrifice why it's a great is it the size Any Muslim? Hmm? Why Allah sacrificing? Allah sacrificing to who? You see, guys, does it say in the Quran, and this is the Muslim translation, does it say the word sacrifice? Does it say that? Or I'm making things up? It says that, right? Okay, who is the one doing sacrifice? Allah. What is the what is the purpose of sacrifice? When you say sacrifice, I sacrifice to God. Doesn't matter who you are. The second you say I sacrifice, in the religious meaning, that's when you are sacrificing to God. You are pagan. You are a Christian. You are a Jew. You are a Hindu. You are a whatever. The second you say I'm sacrificing. An animal shed in the blood in a religious meaning does mean you are doing it to God. Hmm. We Christian, we don't do that. Allah is sacrificing to who? Allah, He ransomed him. Ransomed him. You see, when Allah He said the word ransom. Let us analyze the words a little bit. When you ransom, what is ransom? Ransom is in is something, a payment in exchange of releasing someone, correct? Is that correct? Okay, Allah paying who to ransom? Regardless who is the child he is ransomed, Muslim they claim it is Ishmael. Some scholars agree it is Isaac. However, it doesn't matter. At least for now. 
Allah ransom in who from who? Any Muslim can tell us? That means Allah ransom in if this is Ishmael, Allah ransom in Ishmael from Allah. That's funny. You see, I'm going to your, your logic, Muslims. You say, <coughs> you say to the Christians, <laughs> so God He sent His Son, <laughs> and then His Son He died in the cross, and because you believe that He's died in the cross, uh, this is, will be your ransom. And you say, okay, so God He ransom you from Him. <laughs> funny <laughs> Christians are funny <laughs> Christians. <laughs> well, look at you. Allah ransom the child of Abraham from who? From Allah. Anyone? And this is a good question. Allah, He sent the sacrifice here. And the sacrifice stay in the ground. <laughs> no, actually, some they say that Allah sacrifice and still He sent the fire to eat it too. Let us go to the chapter to read the interpretation, shall we? Who wants some tea? Anyone want some tea? All right. If we go to chapter thirty-seven, verse one o seven. One o seven. And let us read the interpretation. <clears throat> and we ransom him whom had been commanded to sacrifice, namely Ishmael or Isaac. <laughs> I mean Islamic religion is very sure from everything, brother. Everything is so clear, brother. We made this book is so clear. Namely, brother, either Ishmael or Isaac or uh, <laughs> or who? <laughs> okay, two different, and there is two different opinion. Okay, why the prophet don't tell you? I mean, such a story. How come you have a prophet who speak about a woman she have to wash her private part after seeing with a dream? Can't he speak for two minutes about who is this guy? Brother and sister, there are two opinions. One opinion said it was Ismail, and the other opinion said it was Isaac. And now we are Muslims, we are very confused. Mm. Would mighty sacrifice, mighty sacrifice, what is that? Hmm? Mighty, a mighty ram. What is that? He was so big. This ram was so big and so beautiful. He was so huge. He was so big. He was Akbar. The mighty ram, the mighty God, the mighty Allah. Look like we have mighty ram and mighty Allah now. By the way, you Muslims make fun of things in the Bible. As an example, once <laughs> Abdul, he is a sheikh supposedly, and he is a smart. I can I can tell he's so smart. He said the Christian prince, Christian prince, your Bible teach that God he sacrificed Isaac and he sent a ram. <laughs> Do God have a ram in heaven? And by the way, he was Indian, sheikh from India. I said, ah, yeah, that's a good question. So are you saying this is stupid? He said, absolutely, this is stupid. This is garbage. I said, you confirm that for me. He said, absolutely, this is garbage. I said, can you repeat it three times, the same word, garbage? He said, yes, this is garbage. And then I opened this verse for him, and I show it to him. And he claimed to be a sheikh. You see, the same as sheikh Rohi. You remember Rohi, the guy who keep calling me? You have no idea what we are talking about. 
enter you quote for him the verse then he start opening the books and then he see okay it's his dad mm. he sent the mighty ram from paradise in the paradise of Allah Allah growing rams Muslims Yahoo cowboy cowboy what you gonna do what you gonna do when I come for you make me mr. bean bad boy bad boy hmm any Muslim have a comment you make book of make fun of our book right okay uh, and here they're saying the same one what like what what look at this the same one that Abel Abel had offered a sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that hey, brother this is the same sheep Abel he sacrificed himself a few thousand years ago oh. hello Allah he took the sheep and he put it there I thought the verse in there it says that Allah he sent the fire and the fire consumed the sheep it looked like it was fake Allah he took the same exact offer and sacrifice and he stored it in his refrigerator any Muslim What happened? Uh, how many times I keep saying? Any Muslim? Should I buy a recorder machine and say any Muslim? Anyone? I'm looking at my sky. There's nothing, not even nothing moving. Not a single thing is moving. Any Abdul? Like, come on. Anyone? Let us see. What we can do? I mean, no, Abdul. We are out of them. Okay. Let us see here. All this is about sacrifice, but there's a there's a hadith I'm trying to find. 
where Muhammad he said to Fatima something. Hmm, look like this website does not have it. Let us see. I see all of those is about uh, sacrificing. All of those hadith about sacrificing. Millions of poor sheep, they will be sacrificed today. No, I cannot find what I'm looking for. Yeah, this website. Hmm. Eh, that's enough. I will, you will have a headache. I keep showing you on the screen, flipping pages. Oh boy! But anyway, the hadith actually in Arabic is in the front of me, where Muhammad he said. <coughs> O Fatima, stand up and watch your sacrifice. For Allah, He forgive your sin from the first drop of sacrifice you did. And He will forgive all the sin you did. But Muslims, they claim in their articles that Allah does not forgive you Forgive your sin if you sacrifice. And now, as long as there's no Muslim who talk about sacrificing, you know, uh, animals, what about we talk about sacrificing a human being in Islam? Islam as a pagan cult believe that you can satisfy God by killing people. How we can prove that? Read carefully. We go to the Yellow Pages book. And we will find this in the Quran. How you can make Allah happy and then Allah will release the stress from your heart. By doing what exactly? By killing a human. Read carefully with me. Chapter 9, verse number 14. By the way, they will say to you, uh, that's okay, this is about fighting people who broke their oath and they attack us. But if you look, you will see that those people, they are talking against Islam. Oh, they supposedly, they left Islam. So, you want to kill them just because they spoke against you? And that supposedly will heal the breast of a believing person. So if you are a believing person and you have a problem, you have a lot of hate to the pagans, or they are attacking the prophet, attacking by speaking against him like me supposedly, well, according to the Quran, you should go and slaughter them. Hmm? If we... Go in different verse. Allah, the pagan God, He insists to make you feel better when you slaughter a human being. He teach you that it's not you who killed them, it's Allah. Chapter 8, verse number 17, it says, You killed them not. But Allah killed them. Look at this madness. You see how how evil this man Muhammad is? In one verse is saying to you, go and slaughter people. And the other verse is saying to you, oh, relax. Don't feel that you kill people who they are innocent. 
It's not you who killed them. It's not even you who throw the arrow, the arrow or even cut their head. It was Allah. You killed them not. But Allah killed them. Do you believe it? And this is, by the way, a phrase you will see every single person of Al Qaeda or ISIS or those who call the, themselves Mujahideen when they slaughter somebody, they quote this verse exactly, chapter eight, verse number seventeen. And not only that, Allah curse anyone who turned his back in fighting and slaughtering. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? <clears throat> Anyone? We don't want to change the topic to speak about migration now. Any Muslim? Where is the Muslims? What happened? Ah, I forgot. Oh, oh my Allah. Oh my Allah. They are slaughtering animals now. Hmm. This is one of the most disgusting day in the Middle East. You will see bloods in the streets everywhere. Disgusting. Don't go out. Very disgusting. Blood everywhere in the front of every door. Any Abdul? And you know, you Muslims, you say that this is a, from Abraham. What what is a, what is Abrahamic about it? As you see, that according to your religion, Abraham he did not slaughter anything. Nothing. Zero. So why you don't copy Abraham and you slaughter nothing? And here I want to ask you, why Allah, he ransomed the son of Abraham by a ransom coming from heaven what about Allah says to Abraham hey just go and get a sheep <coughs> do you guys understand what I'm saying why Allah don't say go and get a sheep and that's it okay no problem but you see here that the ransom is coming from heaven what does that mean you see, Muslims, you claim that Allah is so smart, super uh, mighty God, blah, 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 but we cannot explain. Simple thing. Do you think Allah, he ransomed the son of Abraham from the sky because he did not think about that Abraham, he have a sheep in his uh, backyard? What about which one is easier? Why this ransom has to come from paradise, from heaven? So why you laugh at the Christian saying that we are going to be redeemed by the pure blood of Jesus? Is that why it's coming from heaven, this ransom? So ransom, according to Islam, have to come from heaven, not from earth. And the ransom is a great sacrifice, not a normal sacrifice. To the point the Quran called it mighty sacrifice with the Hinaalim. What 
What is that? Muhammad trying to copy from the Christian their belief now? Mixing up everything? I thought you Muslims, you don't believe that God need to give sacrifice and the sacrifice does not have to be from heaven. But look, it is from heaven and God himself giving sacrifice. And look how how uh, uh, how funny the statement Muslims they come with when they say, why God need to give sacrifice when their God himself gives sacrifice. Uh, Bios Evans, uh, okay, thank you. I need to rebuke. Okay, uh, can you uh, uh, let, let me let me tell you about something you need to rebuke me about? Have you ever heard of somebody says to you before get lost? Well, this is me. Bios Evans, get lost. Good temperance. Leave the Bible alone because you need to be rebuked. I oh, weren't an idiot. Leave Brittany alone. Any Abdul? And supposedly this guy is the one who know the Bible and defend the Bible. I spend my life, I risk my life to defend the Bible. And you little you, you want to rebuke me for what I'm doing? I have thousands of Muslims left Islam and accepted Jesus. Who are you? You are a little tiny one who sit in your bed and you give us orders speaking about yourself how good you are but let there's no fruit what the Lord said from their fruits you shall know them rebuke me brother rebuke me rebuke me rebuke yourself first you idiot false empty you are like a balloon but full of gas there's no even air there it's a gas farting gas don't put a needle there now those a Muslim would like to call us and tell us why Allah is ransoming to Allah no we address to everybody don't worry I have a I have a I have a gift of like uh, I can uh, multitask, my friend. This is me, and I'm not shy to say things which maybe people they will say, "Oh, I'm as a Christian, I will not say that." You say to a person, "Get lost." Why not? Isn't it better than what Jesus said? I mean, at least I'm being kind. Jesus said uh, uh, more harsh words. I'm saying like this is better for him. Do you want me to say what my Lord he said? I think maybe you deserve that. He says, if you are if you if you are the same as your father, of your father, Abraham, you will do the work and the act of your father. But your father is the devil. So you speak too much about Abraham. You speak too much about being good and bad. You speak too much about rebuking others, but yet you have no fruits. Nothing. If we ask this guy, when the last time you made a Muslim accept Jesus, what he will say? I bet you even his children don't believe. Do we have any Abdul? From their friends, you shall know them. From their friends. What does that mean? People they have a friends you accompany bad people you are one of them and that is your fruits So we have a fruits our fruits can appear in many ways What we spend our day for how we spend our time where we spend our money What we do with our life that's our fruit And then you will see a guy come in to school me Do you know how many years I wasted of my life just sitting behind the computer telling people about this stupid cult shame on you anyone 
any Muhammadan? You can accompany bad people. You can accompany, but you should not a friend. Because a friends, you see, you know, the Bible says, stay away from bad ones. And stay away from what? Don't associate and be one of them. But, you know, Jesus said he, we came for the sick, right? So we, uh, we try our best to help the bad ones. But we will not be one of them. Anyone? Is my book translated to Arabic? Uh, the Arab people do not need my books. There is a lot of people exposing Islam in Arabic. <laughs> and by the way, Arab people don't read. Especially since we have satellite, all the TV station were watching one TV program. I mean, one section, the porn section. Once in the Middle East, I went. You see, in the Middle East, the housing is different, not like in USA. So, like our building is is really big, and like we go, we have in the roof, we have like a, a like a garden, additional to the garden of the house. So I went in the roof. And everybody in the roof working in his satellite. I said, what happened? You know, maybe, what? why everybody is working in satellite? And then I worked down, downstairs to see the satellite. It's working. It's fine. Nothing wrong. I mean, why everybody in the satellite? But later, I, I, I went out like afternoon, and I saw a bunch of kids in my age. I, I was like a, a teenage. And they told me, did you change the satellite uh, direction? I said, why do you need to change it? They said, oh, the porn stations are in different uh, direction now. Guys, the whole city. Is in the roof. The whole town is in the roof. Changing the direction of the satellite dish because the porn stations are in different direction. And all of them, they are religious, brother. And all of them, brother, they are praying to Allah five times a day, brother. It was one of the amazing scene. Like, why everybody is working with his satellite? What happened? All of them, their satellite broke suddenly. Like, what happened? The neighbor in front of me, the neighbor behind me, the neighbor next door. Everybody, everybody, everybody. You can see them in the roof working in satellite. Just because the porn stations changed that direction. In the Middle East, they have the highest divorce you can imagine. Why? The guy, he go to the, uh, the porn station, he see a beautiful girl there, and then he go to his bedroom, he like, ah, no way, divorce you. Then he fly to different country, they go like to poor countries, especially like when some countries they collapse, like in Bosnia, etc. And he go there and they do uh, human trafficking and they buy a slave girl for sex. Any Abdul? Isaac, you want me to come to Ghana? My friend, I know no one in Ghana. You will be waiting for me in the airport. You see how beautiful the internet here? You have people from around the earth. Here we go. Our brother here is from Ghana. I will be happy to go, actually. Actually, I saw uh, Jay Smith. He's going all over in Africa. I never have opportunity, you know, to go. Maybe one day. I've never been in Africa, actually. Not even once. <clears throat> All right, Isaac. The Lord will provide, and maybe we can make it. Anyone?
Not even one Abdul in Skype additional to the one who said to me he will get me busted. Hey, BB7, you are from Macedonia? Macedonia, isn't it? This is, you mean, you mean in Greece, right? Isn't it this is part of a Greece? Again, guys, uh, maybe next week I might I might uh, uh, fly. fly. Christian Prince, he fly by the way, like Jibril. Yeah, I do fly. So if you want to follow up with my news, I advise you to subscribe to this uh, channel because all my trip videos, I even might do live broadcasts from the places I am in if there's internet. Like it's possible that some places I will be in, they have a good internet so I can go live. So this is the, the channel I will be in. And this is where you will receive my uh, update about my travel trip. That This channel is not for Islam. It's just for everything except Islam. We have many topics to speak about, including travel, uh, you know, what places to go, what things you should not do, um, you know, based on my experience and what I learned through uh, going around the world with my flying carpet, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> No, we um, we are Arab. We don't need a flying carpet. We, we hijack it. <laughs> we don't buy them. We hijack them, brother. <laughs> you should see when I go on an airplane. You know, after 9-11, uh, always, always I have the window. I never, I never really, like before I used to fight for the window. I want to sit next to the window. But since 9-11, they put you in the corner. It doesn't matter what airline you take. The window is a must. It's not a question. Don't even try. You know? And when I go in security, you know, security check, when I arrive to that guy next to me, he's close, I answer the phone. Wa alaykum as salam, brother. Yes, brother. Alhamdulillah. The guy right away, he come, he's, he put a circle around my ticket and he chose the first redhead guy, redneck, and he put him a blonde, anyone like says, anyone he's look white, blonde. To make it look like it's not because you are Middle Eastern or Arab. No, no, no. Absolutely. So they put a circle around my ticket, and then right away he chose someone he is like a blonde. He put a circle and he says special inspection. And what I like about special inspection, there's nothing actually. It's just uh, you know, they put you in the machine first and they check like carefully, and that's it. Instead of waiting in the line for two hours, man. What one I one I was in the, the airport in Georgia. Uh Man, the airport there is so crazy. The line for security will take you like at least two hours. I will miss my airplane. So I have to use my trick. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, mashallah, mashallah. Everybody is looking at me. You should see people. <laughs> Unbelievable. I love it. And I look I look literally like a terrorist, to be honest with you. I look like a I look like a mafia guy who like a, he was uh, like a hitman, you know? So right away you say those words and you you are an Arab and you speak Arabic and you look so ugly like me. Unbelievable. I mean, special treatment. All right. <clears throat> Until now, there is no Muslims. What we will do now? Anyway, life is fun. Life is fun. Life is fun. I like it. And you should see when you go uh, in borders, like uh, some countries. Huh. So you are born in the Middle East, right? Yeah. And you have an American passport? Mm -hmm. uh, why? Uh, because I became a citizen. Uh, how you became a citizen. And now you need to tell him the story, how you became a citizen. Well, I, fly to, uh, I took a flight to America. And then I stayed there, blah, 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 and I became a citizen. So you confirm to me now that you are an American citizen. Yeah, I am. So this passport is not fake or something? No, it's not. What if we check? Please check. What if we call the embassy? Please call the embassy. What if you are lying to us? Do you know what will happen? I say, I know exactly what will happen. You will take me to jail. I know. Please call the embassy. I mean, you you have to be patient and don't get angry. Uh, otherwise, 
you know they are in charge i mean what you can do what you want to fight him you want to so you have to be patient the only one did not ask me any question about uh, me being middle eastern too much is the chinese they were asking each other because they don't speak english so like they're talking about me like there's three with three four the two the one became two the two became a three the three became four all they gathered to talk about me and they are looking at my passport flipping the pages and you know i wanted to share in the conversation but my chinese is limited the only thing i know is like what the breasty he's uh, brosty he said so i did not involve in that conversation and then after all the conversation and i know why because i'm a middle eastern you know all of this because i'm middle eastern and then the guy he point his finger that he saw uh, something in my neck uh, he saw a cross okay so look like okay this guy is a christian all right let him go <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. it's fun it's fun I don't know if anyone wanna 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 use my passport <laughs> to see what happened to you when you go. <laughs> Always, if I put my bags in the in the airplane, I find I find later an inspection notice by the TSA, like the security. You know, there is I don't know how many time I find that notice in the in the back. The second you drop the the bag in the uh, if it's not carry on so they will inspect it right away you know they will leave a notice for you says this uh, bag is inspected by the airport security etc anyway any abdul hmm yeah the cross let me pass first time i went to canada guys they took off my car apart literally they took the doors off they took the cabinets i mean they took the car you know uh, a lady she came and she says can you accompany inside with me i said okay i went inside and she said to me uh, can you take off everything in your pocket i took everything in my pocket and you know I, I, i'm wearing a short like you know summertime and there's you know those things for the cable for two cables to connect the for the tv you know if you had like two cables like connection so i have that look like and i forget about it in my pocket i was working in the cable and then she asked me why is this why you have this with you i said do you know what is this right she said this is not the question why you have this with you and you are entering canada with it I said what I can do with this this is a cable connection <laughs> and she said I understand but why you are having this with you I said maybe I'm gonna connect two cables one between USA and one between Canada what do you think and she said are you making fun of me I said, well I knew you tell me what I would do with it give me ideas I mean it's in my pocket so is that like not legal am I are you going to accuse me I'm smuggling cable connection is in the size of my finger I mean, how funny women this woman is. She want to make me a terrorist for a, for a cable connection. <laughs> let me let me tell you what is that. Maybe some people do not know what I'm talking about. Hold on. <clears throat> I don't know what they call it. Cable connection. Oh, boy. Uh... I'm looking it's a small tiny piece yeah like this okay like this no this is actually uh, uh, here we go it's a close to the to uh, I'm trying to find it I didn't find exactly I need to find the exact name coax go well, hold on somebody coaxal blog okay let's search for that 
because I'm trying to find I search for cable connection it shows me millions of kinds except the one I'm looking for yeah like like this one let me show you Uh, actually, it's not the same. But anyway, like I mean, uh, it's the same. Uh, it, it, the different is that this one, it's from one side. This one, it have like two screw where you can hook up two things together. You know, so it's like it's a small, tiny thing in my pocket for TV cable. And she start asking me questions. And are you going to give this one to somebody there? I said, Are you serious? <laughs> I mean this this uh, this uh, this police woman. She was so smart. I mean, are you going to give it to somebody? Um, I was thinking, no, I don't think so. Yeah, you know. I mean, what's what? just a little tiny thing in my pocket? She make a story of it, and then she brought a paper. Actually, this one. Here we go. I found it. Finally, I found it. This one. This one. What happened? Yeah, here we go. This one. So, are you going to give it to somebody? Why you have it with you? What are you going to use it for? Is it really by mistake? It just. Oh boy. And then I went outside. I found my car. I, I, I look. Uh, I look from the window, they have their dogs, they take in the, the, the sides of the, the door windows, the cabinet, they took off the under the chair, they went in and under the car, they left the car up. I mean, uh, my car became pieces. Yeah, it's fun, it's fun. I have a lot of experience in airports. <laughs> And I have a beer too, you know, like, what you want to use this for? And I was saying to myself, what I will use it for? What I will use it for? Maybe I will use it for some kind of an attack or something, you know? Me. Yeah. Anyway, but this is only the first time. After that, they have information about you. I think they check about you, whatever, you know. So after that, actually, I drive with my car and nobody stopped me. Even they say hello by name, you know, like there's no stop really. Yeah, they stripped my car. Because my car, it says I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> anyway. But you know, like because of who, uh, who you are as an as a Middle Eastern, you witness a lot of a crazy stuff. Actually, once I was in the airport in in Texas, and they stopped five Israeli, and man, they were asked them tons of questions. You know, tons of questions, like I don't know what was their problem, but. Uh, I was surprised that they are doing that with Israeli too. My new channel is this one. If you like to join us, because later I'm going to be abroad and I will post my video update in this channel. Let me put it in the screen. Quality of Life M27 and M27 for Mark chapter 2, verse 27. The Sabbath was made for the man, not man was made for the Sabbath. So here we speak about many topics, including when I travel, I'm going to post my videos, maybe live video if I can. And this is the channel if you like to subscribe. Now, we go back to our topic. Forget about Christian Prince. Christian Prince. Do we have any Muslim? Yeah, but they were nice actually. I mean, they did not say any bad word to me. They did not do anything wrong and they put everything back. 
I mean, the car really does not look like anything, like uh, anyone did something wrong to it. So, and only first time. After that, I drive. Nobody even asked me. They even the, when you arrive to the, there's a driveway and there's a cabinet in the middle. He called you by 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 your by your name, like if he, he pronounced your name and uh, he look at the, uh, etc. They have all description of your car, so uh, they call you sir. And, you know they are they are very nice. Yeah, but only first time it was kind of uh, weird. Lou eight five eight. Okay, well, who is Lou four five eight? Is he a Muslim? A uh, Manny. Because you said that, I'm going to ban you from my channel, my friend. Or I will put you first time. This is a warning. Anyone who call a Muslim a pig, I'm going to ban you. He's no pig. Shame on you. Why he's a pig? Are you being stupid? He's a human like you. If you if you if you speak about others the same they speak about others, that means you are no better. They call it Christians and they call it Jews pigs, but we don't do the same. Now, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Feel free to call us. Anyone? Yeah, actually, uh, because I want to fix my teeth, etc. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to go to Europe and ask or Canada and ask for asylum because then I will get full coverage of insurance for free. <laughs> Unbelievable. Isn't it fun? You know, I will go there and I will not tell them I am like an American citizen. And I will tell them I'm running from the war in Yemen. Where is the Muslims? I'm very disappointed today. There is no Muslims. I think they are busy slaughtering animals. Anyway, guys, don't forget, please, to subscribe to this new channel. Uh, again, I will update you about my news from that channel only. So during the time I will be away, uh, uh, this is how you can follow my news, and I'm sure you will be you will have a good time too. I will try to go. You have to come to Poland, moon spell. Okay, my friend, uh, text me in, in Skype. Maybe I will come and visit you in Poland. Where is Poland located? I, I, by the way, we are Arab. We are very good in geography. Like last time when I went to Brazil, and like I was in the border with Ghana, and I was crossing from Ghana to, uh, uh, you know, uh, Indonesia. Uh, then, you know, I said to myself, let me stop in Brazil and get some, uh, because in Brazil it's very cold. It's so cold. It's very, very freezing cold. So I said to myself, let me stop in Brazil just to get some cold because, I'm, because you know, in Ghana is hot. There's a lot of uh, hot weather there in Ghana, in uh, South America, you know? Uh, so, and this is, by the way, this is all is a geography is confirmed. You know, this is true geography. I learned this geography from the Quran. According to the Quran, the Mediterranean Sea meet with the Persian Sea. I mean, over oh, low, obvious, and the sun set in murky water. Poland is in Eastern Europe. I mean, see, but I was very close. I thought Brazil. I mean, extremely close, almost in the head. Uh, why don't you go to Holland? What I would do, go to Holland to eat cheese? You go every, everywhere in the Middle East, they say like a cheese from Holland, milk from Holland. So what I would do there? I to, like Somebody told me that you go to Holland, everybody say cheese, cheese. I mean, even their language, are, I don't know if it's true. They said their language is a cheese language. Like they don't talk. They give each other like cheese, cheese, like two cheese, four cheese, seven cheese. Like, you know, like their letters is made from cheese. I don't know. It's, it's a cheesy country. Hey, Slim, how are you? 
You're welcome, my friend. Do you want me to call to India? Ah, see, this guy here is planning something fishy for me. He wants me to come to India. Do you know what will happen if I go to India? What the Indian will do to me? Hmm. Once I went to an Indian friend house, and his wife supposedly she cooked for me something does not have a spice supposedly and i was swallowing water like an elephant and the guy he said uh you did not put the spice don't you right you know honey i did not put spice little tiny little tiny my friend my mouth was burning my head was sweating like as if i'm taking a shower my throat my voice is not coming no more and supposedly this lady she did not put any any little i mean little spice and i keep asking for water the guy he says are you okay i said no <laughs> i was talking like mr bean you want me to go to india and eat there are you sure i will die from the spice you guys you eat <laughs> Yeah, be careful with their spice. It's so powerful. I love Indian food, actually. Well, you know, when you eat spice in a hot area, the first thing will happen to you, your head will start dri dripping water. You start sweating like crazy. I don't know how many of you tried. So it's uh, I like spicy food, but their spice is so strong. You know, Indian people, because they are used to eat spice, so it doesn't affect them, you know. They can eat spice, not only eat add the spice to food, they can eat the spice itself. But for us, we are not used to this. Yeah. Very powerful spice. But I like Indian people, they are very nice people. And then after that, I'm not going to tell you what will happen to you when you go to the bathroom. The story is not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet. The story will get more complicated after you eat. So if you go to India, you better be careful. Very careful. All right. Look like we don't have any... Um... No, we, I like spice, but you know, the spice, the India, Indian people, they eat spice. Not they don't add the spice, their food contain a lot of spice. Yeah. So any Muslim? All right, look like we don't have Muslims. Again, I might go live on air tonight. Actually, I will go there. Mm. Let me create an event. I will, I will look at the comments because I, I create the event based on the comment of people. So guys, I will be later, uh, maybe in four or five hours from now, in uh, in this channel here, Quality of Life, my other channel. So if you like to join us, subscribe and turn on your notification so you can be with us when I am going to go live on air. All right? And again, remember, during the time I am in my journey, and I might fly next week. <clears throat> you will be updated by maybe live broadcasts or videos I will post from where I am from that channel, not this channel, which means this channel will go to sleep until I come back. And then I will have better teeth and I can speak better than Zakir Naik. Uh, can you give, let us see what this uh, brother is saying here. Can you give Muslims to give a chance at the end of your season to accept Jesus Christ? I believe many to want to talk after watching you. My friend, my Skype is always there. Anyone who is a Muslim is welcome to text me. There's many people, they text me, they say, please don't show our message, and I respect. And even they call me, no problem. Don't worry about it. The, the ones who speak to me, uh, under the air is uh, way more those who call me live on air you know and most of those who speak to me uh, like they don't want to be in public is the one who is leaving Islam so always they are welcome to call don't worry and they call anyone Midi Midi yeah yeah mama 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 
my voice will be so good better than I can make after I fetch my teeth now my voice is like this and that guy is crazy other example he cannot take the word Britain uh, what what you said brother Britain but this is how Christian Prince he said <laughs> unbelievable yeah I will speak better than I can make don't worry don't worry be happy and then the Muslims they will like me more uh, actually I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to open a channel it's called Zakir Naik after fixing his teeth you know I don't know if that will work what do you think like Zakir Naik after fixing his teeth I mean do you think like less rain will come I think that the first people who sit in the fr first line and chairs and uh, Zakir Naik they have to hold umbrella uh, <clears throat> but one of the most funny statements Zakir Naik he said is when uh, when a woman she asked him why a woman she can't be a prophet, he said, This is the Alki question, and this is the very legitimate question why in Islam a woman he is not a prophet? And let me confirm to you, sister, in Islam there is no woman he is a prophet, and there is a very logical reason for that. The reason in Islam there is no woman he is a prophet because a woman is the prophet, he has to lead the congregation, and if you lead the congregation, he has to do to do that we do. And if you do this to do it, the Muslim they will lose consideration in the prayer and that will disturb the prayer. Thank you very much, sir. Anyone understand? A woman she can't be a prophet because she has to bow over bow, bow down. And if she bow down, every Muslim will look at her ass. <laughs> That's what he's saying. I mean, you believe it in the front of tens of thousands of people, and people are like, Wow, brother. Look at this answer, brother. So astonishing. So good to be true. So the woman, she can't be a prophet because if she pray in the front, you Muslims will look at her ass. May Allah ask you. This is the reason women, she can't be a prophet. It's her ass. Now I know why in America they say bad ass, smart ass. Jack ass look like ass is something very important. Huh? Oh boy. Uh, uh, let us say it another way. Uh, Zakir Naik is trying to say to Muslim women that you are so much gifted, you are overqualified. <laughs> Your ass is so good to be in the front. <laughs> What a crazy cult. What a crazy stupid cult. Unbelievable. Oof. Uh, okay, I feel now like I just ate spice and I'm sweating. So guys, I want to say thank you. Again, if you don't, would like to join us, I will be in four or five hours again live on air in this channel, Quality of Life. And this is the link again I will post it for you. Please subscribe and be with us later live on air. All right? I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. Again, we are not stopping using this channel. It's here just, you know, this is for Islam. The other one is for different topics about life. You know, it's like relaxing channel, speaking about everything except garbage stuff. So there we enjoy it. Here is different joy, let us say. So thank you. And uh, somebody saying to me, what? The pagan Christian? Is that a Muslim? Finally, we got a Muslim in the chat. You believe it? Finally, we got a Muslim in the chat. He said, pagan Christian. I, we are the pagan. Why? Are we the one who kisses black stone, my friend? The one who called us pagan Christian. <coughs> Where? What happened? Where is the guy? He said, where is the guy? He said, a, a pagan Christian. Are you there? I thought we got a fish. Look like he disappeared again. It's gone. The second you name them, the same second they stop moving their tail. Big, big, big and Christian. Why we are big and Christian, brother? Why? Are we the one who kiss black stone, go around the stone? Lou 8585 can you tell us uh, 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 mr. Lou 8585 why you kiss the black stone 
Well, what is your name in Skype? I will call you. Give me your ID in Skype. I will call you. He's trolling? Oh, okay. Well, if he's a troll, there's no point then. Again, guys, this is the website there. If you like to join us, feel free. And with this, I say may the Lord have mercy on us. And I pray that all of you, you will have a good time with your family. It's a weekend. Enjoy. Be good to your wife. Be good to your husband. Be loving. Be giving. And be grateful. People who don't have a appreciation, what they have is going to be taken from them because they don't deserve it. So appreciate what the Lord gave you and be happy. Even if you think it is little, for little is really good. There's many people who have a lot, but a lot bring them into destruction. You see in the news those rich people who they are very, very rich. They Today we heard the news about a guy who is a billionaire. He was in jail for sex trafficking. So his richness did not bring him anything except sorrow and shame. So appreciate what you have, for what you have is good and great. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. <laughs> and I will see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And take care.